I never noticed how detailed the world was until I shrank. I mean, as a jellyfish, I'm tiny, and look at all this detail. This is incredible. I didn't even notice this last time. Jeez. And in case you were wondering, I do have plans for this episode. Basically, what we're going to be doing today is mostly just resource gathering. So, like, one, things like wood, more iron. If we can find some diamonds, that would be awesome. Uh, more redstone, because I have plans with that. And then, hopefully, by the end of this episode, we will have at least planned out a location and potentially even started working on our shop. Let's get to the gathering. The resources have been gathered. We have all our redstone here. Our iron is currently cooking. So as you can see, there's some in here. There's some in here. There's some in here. Uh, we do have a lot of kelp in there as well. We also uh, I've put in my gold and my copper. Uh, also, I <laughs> should have said this first, but I've set up an automatic cooker over here. So we have all of our coal, which will go into here and continue to refuel this. And then we have all our resources up here that need to be cooked. So, and of course, these are output chests. So we are slowly gaining more and more materials. Uh, all of our redstone has been gathered. As you can see, we have a lot of wood. I gathered a little bit of sand. We're definitely going to have to get more than that, though. Um, but for now, that'll do. So now, I think we need to go and pick a location for our shop. And then we can... And then I'll share my plans with what how it's going to work. Alright, I've come up to Dax's place to scout out the land. Because I can build my shop anywhere I like. But I do need a space that's big enough. That looks pretty good. It is kind of hidden from the general area that we're in, kind of like off to the side. I do kind of want it to be in a place where people can access it easily. I'm um, not really sure where that would be, because I need an open space, you know. <sighs> Pretty sure there's something in there. That's taken. Maybe somewhere by those trees, although, okay, maybe behind those trees, like right there. You know, like right there. That might be a good spot. I'll have to scout out the land a little bit first. We could also just do this spot right here. Like just right there. Like remove a couple of these mushrooms. And just flatten this out a little bit. We could totally do this spot. Yeah, this could work. Okay, I think we're going to try this spot right here. Let's. We'll have to remove these mushrooms first. And flatten this hump out right here. But other than that, this looks pretty good. There we go. This land has been claimed by the creatures of the sea. Perfect. Nobody else should build here. Alright, I hopped over to my testing world because I wanted to try something for my shop. Uh, I wanted to make the shop more interactive. And so... Oh, this is weird. I'm like actual two blocks high here. That's very strange. But basically, it'll have the item and how many you want. So it'll be 64 white concretes. Uh, and then one diamond you're supposed to throw in here. And so, when you throw the diamond in, it moves this piston over. And then this button becomes activatable, if that's a word. But basically, you click this button... It spits out 64 white concrete from those hoppers there, spits it up through into this spot here. We have target blocks surrounding this just because uh, otherwise the items kind of just went over the floor and fell down and then it wasn't 64. But I mean, obviously, this is going to be this is going to be the, fl the floor of the shop. And so it will be fully covered and everything. Um, but once it's done spitting all of those out, it does take a little bit, but that's OK. It's only a stack anyway, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, so there we go. We have our stack of 64 white concretes. I already had this one in my inventory. Oh wait, that's oh yeah, that's the named one. But there we have our stack of 64 white concrete. And if they want to buy some more, then they have to throw another diamond in, etc. And then this is where our diamonds end up right here. Um, obviously, I'm using white blue concrete right now. It's just for just because I just had it happened to have it. So, but yeah, that is how the shop is going to work. And this thing is completely tileable. Um, well, I mean, not entirely. I mean, I, have, I do have to keep them a space apart, but that's okay. It looks like we'll probably have enough room for another... Probably, we can we can make another room for like four or five of these, probably. So I can sell four or five different things, which will be really nice. Um, and then, of course, 
you can't throw like two diamonds in and get two stacks that's not how it's going to work i'll have to make some rules like you have to you have to wait until you receive your full stack before buying anything else um because otherwise this thing is going to break and it's going to give you like a stack in 27 or something so anyways but yeah that is how the inside of my shop is going to work uh, this has nothing to do with it. This is something completely different. Don't worry about that. But now I need to do some measurements and figure out how much space this shop is going to take up. And then we can figure out the exact dimensions for what it's going to look like in elsewhere. All right. I made the measurements and I also made a couple of just uh, adjustments, uh, including these lichen pathways and the light blocks over here. And so basically now what we do is we throw in one that uh, activates the button so we can click the button. And then those start going, the light turns off. When the light turns back on, that's when you can go ahead and throw in another one and buy them all over again. So I should be getting two stacks. I also uh, changed this so that it's a trapdoor on a cauldron, which will contain the blocks until you're ready to pick them up. So when we pick them up, there should be two stacks in my inventory. Give us some time. And there we go. All right. Uh, we did have one that escaped, but that's fine. But then you can come in and collect your two stacks of items just like that perfect and then the diamonds i can filter through i can actually i can make enough hopper i can make like a line of hoppers that will filter through and so they all the diamonds end up in one chest from the different rows these are the different rows i've determined that i'm going to do six different items i have yet to choose what like like half of them are but we're going to have a max of six on here because it's a lot of redstone <laughs> and so that should be the entire thing the decorations, like what it's going to look like on top, I'm going to leave that as a secret for now. Uh, you guys will see that in the time lapse when I actually do it on Elsewhere. But now you guys know what the inside is going to look like, and that's really exciting. Alright, let's hop back onto the server and see if we have enough space. We could do it right here. This doesn't look like a bad spot. We have enough space. We'll just need to clear out some stuff, some mushrooms, some hill bumps. But other than that, this looks like just about the right space. We have to fill in that hole over there as well. But this should be plenty big enough. I'm going to dig down a little bit make sure there's nothing underneath it and then we can get working on it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's Zach with the win. Okay. I win! <laughs> 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 okay, so the little guys seconds. are definitely slower. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I want to do one more. I want to do one more. This yeah. time, no no jumping this time, okay? Oh, okay. Jumping. Oh, we got to hurry. I'm running out of air or water. Well, oh, come, come refresh yourself. Oh. <laughs> You're so much slower than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. I'm ready. All right, ready? No jumping. Do your best not to jump. Okay. Three, two, one, go. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dak, oh, Dak, Dak had a much larger lead that time. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm uh, if I'm actually if I'm uh, going early. All right, quick update. We have finished the majority of the shop, kind of. We've got these pathways right here. We're gonna put some lights in on the end of these pathways once we grab them. Uh, we got the buttons in. We got the spots for the where they're gonna be throwing the diamonds. Um, so this is pretty much what everyone else is gonna be seeing. Of course, I'm still gonna add like decorations and stuff up above. I'm gonna get to that later, but uh, for now, I'm trying to gather all the resources I need for the redstone underneath the shop. All of which, or actually most of which I have in this chest right here. This is most of the items that I'll be needing. I still need pistons, like a lot more pistons, and then a few more, and then some sticky pistons as well. Which could be a problem because I don't think anyone on the server has slime balls yet. Um, I don't have time to make a slime ball farm. So I'm just going to have to go and find some slime balls. Fortunately, I only need like 19 sticky pistons, which means only 19 slime balls. So it should be easy enough. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see, I guess, but um, hopefully we'll be able to find those slime balls easily enough. But then once we have those, we can finish up the redstone and start working on the decorations. Also, just so you guys are aware, I did have to clear out some space here and also make a mine shaft that literally goes down to bedrock. Um, so I could find the materials I need for everything, for all the redstone for the shop, um, all the redstone, all the... Uh, stone all the iron all that kind of all that kind of stuff and in the process we did actually find some other viable resources like gold and lapis and diamonds 
Uh, let me allow, let me just show you the spoils of that trip. So we did find a lot of copper, found a lot of redstone. Obviously, we used a lot of redstone to put it into all these things. So I don't have as much right now. I did ask Surface to go to the Nether and get me some quartz. So that was really nice of him. I do owe him him a favor now. So we'll have to we'll see what that is at the, when the time comes. Um, and he also got some glowstone, which we need for the redstone lamp. So that's nice. Uh, but as you can see, we have 14 diamonds, which is just awesome. We can go ahead and throw this in there as well. So we have some lapis gold. We actually have pretty much run out of iron right now, but we're cooking some up right now. So um, we're probably going to use most of that to make the uh, to make more pistons. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up these pistons and then we'll start our slime ball adventure. All right, there we have it. 30 regular pistons and 19 pistons set aside to become sticky pistons, which means all we have to do now is find some slime balls, and we're good to go. I have prepped my inventory for some slime chunk findings. I've got some walls to separate the chunks. I have some extra materials in case I need to make more tools, along with the chest in case I find some valuable things. We're going to go ahead and head down in our mine shaft down to Y40. So basically we just need to build, build a tunnel that's this, that's a 3x3 three three tunnel all the way as far as we can. Separating the chunks that we find using this chunk, oh, okay we're gonna have to move the tunnel a little bit this way. <laughs> we're like, we built the tunnel on two chunks, but anyways. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and dig away in this direction as far as we can uh, until we come across some slimes or until the slimes start spawning. And then since we're sectioning off the different chunks, we know exactly which chunk the slime spawned in. Well, that was fantastic. I was just talking with Rift, <coughs> Rift Studier, and he told me that he happened to have nine slime balls on hand that he just had extra because he didn't need them, which is great because that's like more than half of what I need. So he just came by and dropped them in. So now we only need four slime balls, which we could get potentially from one slime, but <coughs> likely more from like two or three, but still. That's more than half of what we need, so this is great. We already have nine slime balls, which means that if we take this chest, we only need, yeah, we only need four more slime balls because these can be combined with these and make nine sticky pistons. Skadoosh. There we go. So now we only need four more slime balls and we'll be set to make, we'll be set to finish this shop. This has been days in the making. I have some good news. I will start by saying that no, I did not find any more slimes, which sucks. But I did find out that using this uh, using this map mod, which I believe is called the Zyros map, Zyros mini map, uh, I did find out that the two chunks that I'm looking at right now are in fact both slime chunks. So this one and the one behind it are both slime chunks, which means that we could we can dig these out, and it'll be more, even more likely for slimes to spawn here. So. We're gonna do that. By the way, I did get Dax permission. We are allowed to use this map. We we are allowed to use this uh, uh, map mod, and so um, I'm just utilizing its functionalities. But we are going to be digging out this space, and then if we need to, we'll dig out some spaces underneath it as well. Um, and I did set up this little system here, so I can drop off all of the materials that I'll be getting from digging. You know, just all the stone and, and things like this, and diorite and stuff like that. Um, I do have some furnaces here in case I want to smelt anything. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up some more fuel because I really don't have that much right now. But yeah, let's get on with it.
So I asked Butter if he had any. And well, I didn't ask him if he had any. I actually just came here and looked. But before I took some, I did ask him if I could take some, and he said yes. So we now have all the slime balls we need for our sticky pistons, which is great because that means we can ouch, we can get working on the shop now, or at least we can get working on the redstone for the shop. The decorations for the shop I will get to later, but I'm just going to focus on the redstone for now. for the entire system. I did add a little uh, water walkway here for myself just to get over to here. Um, this is the space where I will be restocking all of the droppers once they run out. If the droppers are empty, this actually turns off a system right here which extends a piston and pushes the redstone power source away from the redstone lamp uh, or the lamp indicators on the surface um, so that the uh, it indicates that we are out of stock of that specific item. Um, so that's really useful, which is why uh, all of the lights are off right now, is because all of these are empty. Um, but I did test everything, it all works now. I actually had to fix a problem because turns out this whole thing was built on the border of a chunk. And so it actually didn't function as well as it did in my testing world. So I actually had to rebuild something and add like freaking 18 observers to this thing to make it work properly but point is it works properly now which is just great that means we can start the decoration process probably in the next episode because this thing is taking forever and i'm 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 ready to release another video and because i just i have other things going on other plans and i'm just really busy right now so that'll be it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like down below and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe because it really does help out a lot but yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode.